Hello and welcome everyone to my channel Code with Ease. Welcome to the first video on linked list series. So in this playlist, we are going to have all the interview questions related to linked list data structure and all the related algorithms to that. And uh, we are going to start off with the very basic questions on linked list, maybe insertion, deletion, counting of nodes and all of that. After we cover the basic and easy level questions is when we are going to slowly move towards interview focused linked list questions. So a very basic overview on what linked lists are, uh, we all know as the name suggests it's a list but it is linked. So we have a couple of nodes, let's say we have a couple of nodes like 1 which is linked to 2 and then 2 is linked to 3 and then 3 is linked to 4 and so on. The first node that is 1 is called the head. Head is the first node and the last that is 4 will be the tail node. The tail node is something which points to null. Okay. So what is, we have already in this question, we have uh, reference to the head and we have the integer value of the new node that has to be inserted. 1 has to be inserted at the beginning. Means x has to be inserted here. And another is inserted at the end. So after 4, we have to insert another x. Okay. So this is what the requirement is. So now let's try to understand the approach for this. If you have to insert something at the beginning, so what happens? Earlier 1 was the head. Okay, so our head is 1. Now if x has to become a head. Okay, so x firstly we have to create a new node called x. Okay, where x will be the data value. And just to give a brief understanding of how a node looks, this is the integer data this is the integer value of that and there is the next pointer which points to the next node so that snippet is also given to us okay so as i was saying the head is one we have to create node called x new node called x now x ideally if something is to be inserted at the beginning the head will no longer be one x will be our new head the head will be x so if x has to become head then one thing uh, if x has to become head then the already existing head should become the next of x, right? So I can say x dot next is nothing but the head, the existing head is 1. So we are setting, we are creating a, earlier it was something like this and when we write this line x dot next, we are creating a link between x and 1, okay? But our head is still here. Now what we have to do, we have to put this head equal to x. Now our head should be assigned to this node. Then the head will point to this. Earlier head was here. Once we write head equal to x, our head becomes x. And we have already established a link between x and y. So that's it. That's about inserting at the beginning. So that was about inserting at the beginning. Now if you have to insert at the end, so I'll just copy this once again. So inserting at the end means this x has to be the new tail node. Our current tail node is 4. So x should be the new tail. So let's say initially x is no, not in the list itself. So x is here. So if we have to make x as the new tail node, means x should be pointing to null. That's that's understood. Now another thing is x is pointing to null. But what about who is pointing to x? The tail node should point to x. But how do we get access to this tail node? We have access only to head. Our head is 1. So head is 1. X is here. X doesn't know who it or who should be the uh, the previous node of x so now we don't have access to the previous node of x so that's the problem here so how do we get access to the previous node of x we have to traverse the link uh, traverse the linked list so which is why it is given that the time complexity should be o of n for inserting at n because otherwise we can never know what is the previous node uh, what is the current existing tail node what which will be a previous node of x okay so when we are doing a traversal We'll start from here. So we'll keep on doing until we arrive at a node whose next points to a null. So we should stop here. So our current tail node is 4. So we'll stop here because the next of this tail node is pointing to null. Once we know that, then we can understand this is our, this is the last node basically. So this last node we have to grab and then we have to make this last node's next pointer point to x. And x is already linked to null. So what will happen is then 4 will point to x and x is pointing to null. That's it. So our insertion at the end is done. Okay. 
So with this, now let's see uh, how do we make the code changes for this. So firstly, we'll do insert at beginning. So here, as I said, first we have to create a new node. So we'll say node, new node equal to new. We have the constructor over here, which takes in x, the data value. So x will pass in. So this will create our new node first. Once that is done, then what we have to do? The new node next should point to our current head. Okay, and head should be our new node. And we have to return a node here, so we'll return the uh, it returns the head of the modified linked list. So I just return head. So this is the insert at the beginning. We are going to compile and run this together at the end. So let this be here now. Inserting at the end. Here, what we have to do, same thing, we'll just first create the new node here. Now, we have to handle null checks also explicitly. So, what happens is, what if the head, head is null, if head is already equal to null. That can happen. If it is already equal to null, then the new node that is coming in x should be the, should be both the head and tail. Okay. So in that case, we have to assign head equal to our new node and then return head. If it is not, then we have to do the normal traversal. So for knowing a normal traversal, first we'll assign a node last, which will point to head because we're going to start from the beginning. Then we'll have a while loop, which is going to check while last is last dot next is not equal to So while last dot next not equal to null, why we are doing? Because as I said, we'll reach till the net, uh, current tail node. So current tail nodes next will be pointing to null already. So we'll only stop till there. So if it is not equal to null, we have to just traverse. So we'll say last equal to last dot next. So it will reassign the pointers and we'll move forward. Okay. So we'll keep on doing this till we reach to the tail node. Once we reach to that, then this while condition will become false. When, when that happens, then what happens is the last node, this last, uh, the node called last is going to be our current tail node, which should now point to our new node. And new node should point to none. And we have to return head. So now the link is established. Last is pointing to new node. New node is pointing to none. And how we could grab the last by traversing. And if head is null, then head and tail is the same. It's the new node itself. That's it. So that's the whole logic about inserting at the end of linked list. So let's try to compile this now. Okay, completed. We'll try to submit. Okay. So it's all successfully on uh, test case of past. Okay. So that's about this problem statement on insertion into linked list. So in the next video, we are going to check how to do deletion and some more traversals uh, through the linked list. And we'll keep on increasing the complexity of the algorithms related to linked list. So stay tuned. And thank you so much for watching this video. Do let me know in the comments if you have any questions or doubts. And please don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Thank you so much.